This is a saga about Piddington Burr, a miracle bond and it goes like this. Piddington on the river, a miracle bond illustrated by Robert Wilkinson. Paddington was broken by, was broken up over, earned by, the son of Voices. He seemed to be coming from somewhere, and she just been to her. And as he cleaned out of bed, he hugged himself so marmally, and she just had. Just to make sure he wasn't rubbing some rubber. He wasn't rubber. He wasn't rubbing some rubber. Strange team. When he tried to turn the wind to he found all his rubber surprise. And all the burned furniture had gathered round. A large box in the couch in the middle of the lawn. It was all over Mr. Harper's and a different than needed investigating. So, without further talk, he put on his doubtful coat and had her downstairs to sir. Once um over once um over small box the outfit was he joined the outfit just as Mrs. Burr was shutting the lid of a large wicker basket. Just pretty to switch on the lock in a next one over. He was meant to be a surprise. Herbs Harper. Turk Harper Piddington. Sir. Mrs. Byrne. Then she saw the knock on his face. I heard the curving of a picnic on the river. Then guess what? Said Harper. Did his giving. A priest or whoever catches the first fish of the day. Piddington has never been on a picnic before. Let her burn on the river. And he was burger. He was burger. Excited. And the burger. Excited. A bunch of burger. Burger special picnic. Here it kicked back and then, where Jonathan and Charter looked for some fishing net. He made the river's for sandwich and the rest of his mandate in the chair and put it under his head in case of an emergency. in charge of the poor Paddington for Mr. Byrne as he cleaned into the pond. Think of the think of the match, Mr. Byrne, said Paddington, that the river got it first. If the doctor was settled down and was ripped it off from the river, Awesome for a small picnic feed. Wait, for Mr. Byrne, and for the little house, I told. Come.
must not end as a way to one the burn of Paddington. From the end of the pier in the water and part to Jonathan. Out are said Mrs. Byrne as the pair began to move. The biggest uh, something awful is Kirvin Chapman. Paddington did as he was told as, and as soon as he felt the end of the pair touch the bottom he shoved at it with all this meat. Of his sudden, of his all trouble murdered. He had sudden, of his, he had sudden, of his, of his all trouble. The sun, of his, of his all knees and pitting tunes, had burnt some off off. And that's a hot breath. Hurts of Mrs. Burns' mirth. When a mess was a grand least, Piddington discovered it was one thing pushing a pearl into the bed of the river, but creating not a with a small matter getting it hurt again. It was later another stronger stuck in the mud. Now Piddington was off his feet, off the punt. Miss Watson was a god. Help! He cried. She sent the punt clear away from under him. Miss Burr, said Mrs. Burr, who was knocking over, shocked. Do something, Henry, asked Mrs. Burr. Do something, said Mr. Burnover crossly. What can it or Piddington's got up her? Hold on, Piddington, said Sir Jonathan. Hold on to what? asked Piddington. She came up the air. Mrs. Burnover, the sunshade, the best of nothingness is a purple, she said. You're not with her is a dark machine. But the sound of the words Piddington gave another clue of alarm. You don't think it can, Mrs. Byrne? He came prompting to the shed again. But with some of us all knock on him, he wasn't far away. He was not a big. A knock that at her purpose. Some passes be as tall as this car. Some Piddington, a creature current him. A thing is, said a man, half curving to give him the first, half curving to bet the first to give him the kiss of leaf. Perhaps, said another man, when her one answered, we shall see artificial respiration. Paddington sat up. Artificial respiration? He exclaimed over how clear he'd rather have the real thing he thought her mean. But he was talking, Paddington. Need stop for the justice hurt. And as he did so, he had another shock. There was nothing on his head for the chest. Hurt, ah, said the man, as Piddington fell over the back horse in alarm. He's lost his balance. It's still need shock. You haven't lost my brothers, said Paddington, giving the man a hard stir. You've lost my head, and it's a beautiful one. There isn't another one naked in the world. 
trips had sunk, suggested something in the current. Oh, God's sweat everywhere, said another corner. Piddington scrambled on his feet. Me had sweat everywhere, exclaimed, hardly able to believe his eyes. Took Father Paddington, old Charter, as the bones were drifted closer to the bed. As they did, jump on board, shouted Jonathan. Old his off the lift on the log. A Paddington of some other river, of some other river. Che, it was the motion. He didn't want to have some sort of small trouble again on the boat. I think he launched her this way, but it's on a stick to Jean learned, if not her main. It's much quicker than it's not for the safer. Fiddington considered a sort of small matter for the urban before setting off in great haste down the church path. In our Paddington of the upset, said Mrs. Bird, as the burns made haste to father in, in a special bath this morning, and torn one day is more than enough to earn the bear. Even if one of them was an accident. I heard a Peter, a lock keeper, and Peddington departed his lot. What sort of head? It's a family hernal, said Peddington. And it's for the special. It was turned a dungeon by being my uncle. And he's wandered ever since he left darkest for all. The locks he belongs to Mirth Rubber. The locks he belongs to Mirth Rubber. Rubber and Pest. A church in case ever had anything from darkest for all before. In me, Earth and me were, he said. It wasn't there, it's been in a bucket, was it? Fish the old chest now. He gave a shudder. All dark and shaped as it was. That sounds like it, said Mrs. Byrne, as they lived on the sea. It all hurts her, said Mrs. Byrne. We shall never find the last of it if it isn't. Paddington lifted the object out of the bucket and held it up. It is my head, he knows, much to everyone's brother, small and neat. Your content is made, he added, as he were more of the means of something weight. Because it's got a marmalade sandwich in seed. At least what's left of it. He crouched down into the bucket again, and as he did her, he nodded the third with surprise. Guess what, Mr. Byrne? he exclaimed excitedly. I think he may have won the first place of the kit. The first kit of the day, God heavens, Mr. Byrne joined Paddington at the bucket. He's rich on her. Come and have a knock over one. Sharp enough is that others could have learned the bucket. He could say not one, but chop this swimming in a note of the bead at the bottom. You just can't compete with it, said Jonathan, and he got a fair head washing to the bargain. A key charter. It's bit, it's her, he caught the fish in the first place, remarked Mrs. Byrne. It 
trumpet has been told it be a mistake. Is it spit me for hunger? Said Mrs. Bird, just nip nip in a piece of bread. Pennington suddenly had second thoughts about his bed and was thinking he was not in a rubber yuck her. As in, it was never not in rubber. God's eat. Perhaps it has made eleventh's after all, he announced. It would want to spy on me picnic. Picnics make her hunger. Especially when your husband has died. Another brother's brother's as was father called Piddington and Aunt Nostra. Piddington's Aunt Nostra was staying with the Baron family and there was great excitement the first morning when Mrs. Bird brought the breakfast Mrs. Bird's mouth when Aunt Nosper says that she had just an order paid of her and she was driving her over. She was driving her over faint head and some of her small specks glasses. Children say some of the small eight of what they say what occur in London. How about curving Tom the Tower of London? said Sister Charter. Or what about Buckingham Palace? for King Jonathan. I'm not sure if it's a problem. It need to curb your pockets, as if we may. Pittington's turned me about it. She knocked around with her carefully in order to make sure to burn was her weapon she. I want to be a certain person, a Christmas present. She said announced. It's been a great comfort over to me. Timber, open the glass. Timber, Timber, the Pennington's been no doctor, sir, well. And it would be nice to toss something in the turn. Well, that's over kind of draw, said Mrs. Brown. She found over over. And then it's um, over all suggestion. I'll bring some pig cleaners, she said to He's always running out. Pig cleaners? exclaimed Aunt Nossa. Oh, he wants something more than that. This is an answer for something I can all enjoy. What about something of an inflatable danger? said Mr. Paddington. She came down into the hall and her father's curving on. Mr. Burns has been talking about being one of a long time now. That's it, Aunt Nosper, over appallingly. Sounds a much better, it, uh. 
If the men in charge of the perk department at Barkers appears in a sudden current of customers, he did his best to conceal it. And what can they talk about, all? He asked, rubbing his hands in anticipation. This later would leak something of an in small of an inflatable tinker, said Mrs. Byrne, the man's space fell. How about a pump, he suggested, of a puncture outfit. Pennington gave it a sister rubber A puncture outfit, he repeated indignantly. But Mr. Byrne hasn't even got his birch head. Having put the assistant in his place, Piddington gazed round the shop and shot of his surprise that Aunt Lossa was chained to Camber into the rapid dinker. I'll pay the position of honor and make off the skirt. She thought this would not uh, this would not create another uh, uh, special present a Christmas. This looks rather uh, interesting, she said. The salesman's face lit up and rushed forward to help her. And she found something rather interesting. Ah, it can sir, in dealing with the leader of Tate, he exclaimed, picking up a small canvas bag. The children's to bear our uh, best in self inflating model danger. It blows itself up in a matter of seconds. Our altar is pulled this card. And stand well clear. As you can see, it comes complete with automatic nature, distressless and sickness pills, as even a packet of bottles, emergency bottles, needs. Ether, said Aunt Nossa, Ether, find them, those leg bottles, needs. Piddington have a father to help Aunt Nossa and the Dinker. He always put some the ounce of me bun manner, he explained. They've got lots of personal orders, agreed Aunt Nossa, but never crunch, curse them, until my crunch, crunch. It's been shaking. And for a special occasion. The burn stared at each other. It was the first they'd ever heard of Paddington making Aunt Nos his Aunt Nosha and an offense. The ways of bears the darkest of his begins his bed, asking the thoughts of them all. Then she perked off. As a long bird came from somewhere close at hand. Perth Aunt Nosha wasn't feeling over there. Oh, if he's sick, her tongue, she is a person of his feet. It's his feet, he was in over sick. A bit 
a child bears bottle seeds, she ate rabbit smelter. She must have eaten first off a packet. Hold on, she paid him, doesn't have the risk for. Oh, kids have a SSP. What sound? in the supper systems as Paddington made a death of the canvas bed. Oh, not not so long to another. Papa! To Papa, explained Paddington, you can see them, see them, the tea that all was. Paddington not left there with the big cross and the lawn as a hiss of escaping arcade from someone said the bird. Oops, ah, he screamed. You think he may have pulled the wrong string by mistake? And the thoughts pertain to meet with a bird stopping up her from fleeting disappointed a bird of paper thought and it was perfect. To get bigger. Help! She had lost her. This was her seen hint of the earth. Oh, my word! Cast his sister. This is very, very big, which is disappeared from all. In a web of masts, bait her, signals, blood, and fishing nets. Oh, my word! And of the burns. We needn't be taking it away. He cleared with his disfair and fixing up his tin hammocks was knocking over Mr. and Ralph. I think, said Mrs. Bird, in the circumstances, he best be taking with him with us. Aunt Ross had a teacher bed. Oh, 
Maß hat das ein Leckerbiss an extrem bedeutet. Bis jetzt schiebt es nicht an den Exkursen, was sie nicht bis dort fahren. Think of the match. Oh, oh, hitting me. Don't for knocking off the pudding from the spirit bed. It's on the thing. Now that he, he's got lost of it and he knocks on it, it seems, does he abandonly of a railway station? A proceeding out of Nossa. He thought the one with her, one with her awful purpose. He all made the perfect bit with her. Pretty to not let an office seat with surprise. That's one of her strange thought. Go back to the wall, he exclaimed. You're not, you're not her to not talk it here. The seeds, it took the art not her or need to think of the talking there, even if they want to talk, which it turned. It must talk perfect for the affair. And that's enough, he's talked with a small box. And he's got something open for the river, long tail. There is another river.